fish and chips, it's usually one of those dishes we associate by the seaside and usually take away, but it's very easy to make at home. So I've got some gorgeous flathead fillets. Look how lovely they are. I like to use flathead fillets for my crumb fish because there's no bones whatsoever, so the kids are going to love them. So first, the chippies. They need to go into the oven first. So I've preheated my oven to 190 degrees. For my chips, I'm going to use Desiree's and I've cut them into rough wedges. I've also placed them into some water just to remove some of the starch. So we'll just use a clean tea towel and we want to pat them dry and we'll just shake off that water and place them all into a towel and then pat them dry. All right, that's looking good. So onto a tray that's lined with some baking paper and a little oil over these. So just some extra virgin olive oil. We'll drizzle and some salt. And just spread them out so they're not overlapping. We want a nice even colour and they go into the oven. All right, the chips have been cooking for about 20 minutes. You want to give them that head start because they just take longer than the fish. Let's start crumbing the flathead fillets. I'm going to leave them whole straight into some flour. Just make sure that you get into all the little spots there. Shake the excess off. And then into some eggs. So two eggs with a little water. Just break up the eggs and give that a good whisk. I'll also add some salt. Okay in with our floured fish and just coating that all over just like the glue so our crumbs can stick. Crumbs of choice, panko crumbs so it goes extra crispy. To get a really nice even cook and colour I like to spray it with some olive oil spray and you want to do that at the very last minute before you add them to the oven. So I'm going to crumb the rest of these fillets and they go into the oven with that light thin film of extra virgin olive oil spray. Fish and chips are out of the oven. Look how good this fish looks. See how it's crispy all over and the chippies, well, they're fantastic too. So a quick tartare, you can use store-bought, but nothing beats homemade. So into a bowl, I add some store-bought mayonnaise. Okay, some good quality stuff, along with some yogurt. I like the yogurt because it really lightens the whole thing up. So a generous spoonful of the yogurt. To that, we add the classics that go into a tartare sauce. So some cornichon or some gherkins, finely chopped. And some capers. Again, I've just chopped them up. And some French shallot. Now, I like to use French shallot because it's milder in flavour, so that goes in too. You could also use some spring onions if you like. All right, before I give that a mix, a few more ingredients. Classic herbs, if you've got them, some parsley. And I just love dill with fish, so a good handful of dill. We'll just take the stalks off for this, bring it together and finally chop everything together. All right, scoop that up into the bowl. And finally, a little lemon. So I'll use the zest of the lemon because it's got a more intense flavour to it. So about half of this lemon and the juice of half two. Okay, I'll squeeze that in. Right, and that's how easy it is to make a tartare sauce at home. Stir that through. Okay, it's time to plate this up. So we'll grab a fillet of fish. This one looks pretty good. If you're being generous too, some chippies, just pile them up on one side. And we need an obligatory green peas, always a great addition to fish and chips. You can make them mushy or I've just steamed them, kind of like that pop of sweetness. Just give yourself a little room for this 
gorgeous homemade tartare sauce. A generous dollop, and I mean generous, two big spoonfuls of it. One, two, a little extra lemon on the side. Just a wedge over here. A little garnish of dill just over that lemon. And that is perfect fish and chips with a healthier twist by baking the fish, baking the chips. Take away, it's fun, but why not try and make it at home? Fish and Chip Fridays, that's what I'll be having.